there is an epidemic of fatty liver disease in people under the age of 18 in the United States and in other developed countries. And what this is doing is setting these children children up for a lifetime of suffering and chronic disease. And it's all completely reversible, completely curable if you catch it just at the fatty liver stage. If it's already progressed to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, then it's harder. It takes longer to heal. If it's already progressed to cirrhosis, then that's, that's in many cases, permanent scarring of the liver tissue, you can improve, but you may never be able to reverse all that. But if any child, if they have an elevated A1C, if they have an elevated fasting insulin level, if they have elevated triglycerides, if they have high blood pressure, they absolutely need to be screened for fatty liver because they probably have it or they're, they're in the early stages of developing it. And catching it early, it's completely reversible by making some simple common sense changes to the child's diet. It's so common that many radiologists who are the doctors who specialize in reading CAT scans and MRIs and ultrasounds, that they often forget to comment about it because it's so ubiquitous. This is also the case for fatty pancreas, which is also a real thing that that's greatly underreported and underdiagnosed, very dangerous condition. But a lot of doctors just don't comment on it because if they see the abdominal scan of a hundred adults in the United States, 70 or 80 of them on average are going to have fatty liver. Very often it'd it'd be like commenting, oh, this patient has a pelvic bone and they have a lumbar spine. Well, yeah, it's so common. You're you're not going to say all that stuff in the radiology dictation report. And so very often they'll forget to comment on it. And so I would always, I, I caution patients when you ask for that scan of your liver, that you want the radiologist to comment either positively or negatively about both fatty liver and fatty pancreas. They need to say in the dictation, this patient does have fatty streaking in the liver and and or the pancreas, or this patient has no sign of fatty streaking in the liver and or in the pancreas. If it just doesn't mention it, then the doctor probably didn't think to mention it because it's so ubiquitous in modern society.